So I'm gonna go on my merry way. I'm a psychic. I'm a psychic phenomenon. Watch this. I don't know who you are, but watch this. Um. Let's computer guys are working on the codes now. Yeah, Lutz thinks he's a serial robber. I think he's a nutcase. Lutz is a nutcase. Not Lutz the alphabet bandit. I don't think so. He's too smart. What else you guys got? These are shell cases left over from the first robbery at Adriana's. These are 44 Automax. They don't even make these anymore. They're too expensive. This is a shell case from a 308 rifle. What they do is they cut it down to make it fit a 44. Whoever did this shit knew what they were doing. Oh, shit. Put this stuff away. Who's this? I got it. I got it. Look. All right, showtime. What the hell's going on here? Who the hell are you? Uh, Chief, this is... Shut up, Rosewood! Uh, my name is Johnny Wish Wishbone. Johnny Wishbone, and I'm a psychic from the island of St. Croix. Yes, I'm a psychic from the island of St. Croix, and I read in the St. Croix Gazette that the Beverly Hills Police Department had some trouble figuring out crimes. So what I did was come to Beverly Hills to help the police out. They tell me they don't want my help, they don't need my help, so I'm gonna go on my merry way. I'm a psychic. I'm a psychic phenomenon. Watch this. I don't know who you are, but watch this. Um, your name is, um, Lutz, right? Chief Lutz, that's your name, see? The name pop inside my head like that. And your name is, um, um... Riddle? Riddle, yes, see? And you give two more seconds, I would say to myself, I don't need no help from no one because I'm Johnny Wishbone, psychic extraordinaire. If you need me, just think Johnny Wishbone and I come running. Lutz and Biddle. It's like kibbles and bits, but different. Excuse me. Sorry to bother you. Your name is Johnson, right? What the hell is going on here? What is this, a magic show? Get the hell, I'm gonna have your badges if you don't go to traffic duty, you hear me? Get out of here. Got in giant in the minute I saw Foley. Axel's got nine lives, I don't. You boys ready? Let's go. Come on now, both of you guys know that guy Lutz is a shit for brain tin on politician. And his boy Bill, <laughs> he couldn't catch the outfit killer if he nuked the city. We gotta do this, the three of us. All for one, one for all. Hey, Lutz is about to fire our asses. I lose my pension, my medical. I got a wife and two kids to feed, Axel. You got two kids, not a wife and two kids. Shut up, Billy. She might come back. Maureen's divorcing him again. She moved in with her mother. Look, two years ago, I almost lost my job. Man put his neck on the line for me, all right? Now, he's laying in the hospital somewhere unconscious. I'm not going to just go back to Detroit without helping him. And what's shocking me is that his boys don't even have any loyalty for him. OK, OK. Don't give me this crap about loyalty, though. Andy and I joined the force together. Okay, okay. But if we do this, it's got to be low profile, covert. Billy and I are supposed to report to traffic duty, for Christ's sake. <laughs> Give me a break. Where'd you get that? Shit, Axel, you've stolen evidence. There's a bunch of them. I only took one. Why? Because in police work, this is what's known as a clue. There's only two or three people that know how to do this kind of quality work. We'll show it around and see who recognizes it. Great. Who are the two or three guys? The fuck you asking me for? This is your town. You should know shit like that.